Uh, so hello, hello. Cloudy. The skies are gray and white and cloudy. Today we read, there were the clouds, the clouds of glory, they call them, that hovered over the Jewish people, protected them as they were wandering through the desert. Why, inside those clouds, it was great temperature control. It was neither too hot nor too cold. But the clouds served another purpose because they led the Jewish people to ultimately toward their destination. I'm sure there's many people in our lives who we turn to to help with our journey. When I was 18 years old, I must confess, I went through a very, very difficult time very depressed to time. And I went to speak with a rabbi. I was confused. What am I to do? What should I be doing in this world? And the rabbi smiled, said to me, it starts with knowing who you are, knowing your inner essence, knowing your soul, and everything will flow from that. I said, but you don't understand, rabbi. You don't understand. I, I need to know. Please tell me, what should I be doing? And he smiled and he repeated himself. But I was 18, I was in no position to absorb the essence of his words. I've seen this many times in my work now, when I, especially with adolescents, too much tunnel vision, a narrow view of the world, too much into themselves, probably like me. Ultimately, we do need to know who we really are. We need to search into our souls, get in touch with the essence of who we are, and. Indeed, it all does flow from that. Then the clouds of glory can lead us because it starts with identity.